So, welcome back to Steve Holmes Porn on YouTube. I haven't uploaded a video for two weeks and uh, that is because I was traveling in Europe and I was in a small town near Naples in Nola and we are shooting for uh, Mario Salieri, a big filmmaker in Europe and uh, there I had such a terrible internet connection that I could impossibly uh, upload any videos but since my last upload uh, I've shot a bunch of scenes and uh, even before I left to Italy uh, so today I'm gonna upload some behind the scenes uh, which uh, happened two weeks and two days ago here in California uh, I was shooting with the lovely Charlotte Sartre a beautiful girl a girl I really like uh, for teen fidelity or um, uh, yeah you will see the uh, the website uh, for the director Fumigali and his assistant Carissa and Carissa also did an interview uh, with Charlotte which I peeked in so you see basically two interviews with Charlotte one Carissa shot for behind the scenes uh, for Teen Fidelity and uh, then the one I did uh, and uh, Fumigali is a very creative director uh, and I'm uh, sure that you're gonna like uh, his update uh, I'm not sure when it comes out you will see it on Twitter announced and uh, Carissa is a multi-talent uh, assistant she does uh, the paperwork she does the makeup and she shoots behind the scenes so enjoy her interview with uh, Charlotte and mine and I'm gonna update more footage within the next days because I have a backlog of uh, material since I wasn't able to upload anything uh, during my time in Italy but now I'm back and as much as I love Italy and as much as I love dinner and lunch there I enjoyed so much my breakfast in America this morning with a Reuben sandwich see you the infamous goth Charlotte I guess. <laughs> My favorite person in the whole entire world. My favorite person in the whole world. So what the fans and viewers don't know is that you and I are totally in love with each other. Yes. And this romance has been going on for some time now. Yeah, you like my girlfriend, but also like my mom, but also my sister. Yeah, I'm, I'm all of the things that you need and want, and yes. I will, like, <laughs> fuck, I, whatever you want, I will be it, because I love you. <laughs> but I haven't gotten to see you recently. We've been busy working. Yes, we have we have busy lives. So last time we shot you, we did this like goth princess set. It was and, the scene of my dreams. And you were so fucking hot. We still get feedback about that. Really? We still get feedback. Fuck yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, absolutely. But since that scene to where you are now professionally, your career has grown quite a bit. Thank you. What are some things that Goth Charlotte you would say is known for? How would you describe Goth Charlotte now as a performer? As a performer, um, I guess, um, I wouldn't say I've been pigeonholed, but I've kind of carved my niche out into being known for a lot of hardcore anal. Like 90% of the time when I get booked for a scene, it's anal. Lately I've been doing some softer things like girl girl. I've been trying to focus on more fetish stuff and shooting for myself. But um, from the very beginning of my career, like when I started working for hardcore production companies, fetish BDSM, I started out like at kink.com. Mm -hmm. um, I guess people kind of know me from that. Um, but I also want people to know that like I'm a diverse performer mm -hmm. like I love doing that stuff but I can also be gentle if people want and um, I'm known as a submissive but in my personal life I'm going to switch like last night I was like punching my boyfriend in the halls <laughs> did boyfriend like said ball punching he 
loves Paul Bestian. It's his favorite. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, but yeah, I kind of went off on a tangent there. But yeah, I would say I'm known for like um, the hardcore, like goth, anal porn stuff. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Especially since I've been shooting for legal porn so much, it's like rare to see me with less than two or three dicks in my ass. Now, when do, how does one prepare for more than one dick in the ass? Because a lot of girls can't do one, and they're scared of one, and you're over here like fucking slaying dragons. <laughs> how do you how do you prepare? It's all about relaxing. Like before I got into porn, well before I had my first kiss even, I was putting things on my butt. So I have a natural inclination for that. I just, you know, don't be scared of it. You, your butt will open up. I know everybody is different. Um, but for me, I just relax and like I stretch a little. I get excited, I listen to like Whitney Houston to kind of like perk me up and I just go there. And you just go for it. It, it helps if you genuinely enjoy it. I know like, yeah. some people will do certain things just for extra money and it hurts them and you know, I, no shade on like what other people are doing to make their money but it's, you're gonna have a better time and you're gonna be able to fit more up there if you really love it. Yes, absolutely. And I think that kind of applies across the board. Like you, you really need to enjoy what you do. And what you do is very much a, a niche, you know? Um, is there anything, you have done a lot of different types of scenes. Is there anything that you have not had a chance to shoot that you would like to? Hmm. I've never done a lesbian orgy. Really? I mean, like off camera, yeah, but sure. like for um, a scene, I have. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, who doesn't have lesbian orgies off camera? <laughs> like, that's Sometimes normal. You go over for a sleepover and you're like, okay, everybody bring your onesies. And then, um, like, you bring your boyfriends and whatever, and then the girls just start having fun, and then the boys are. You literally just made every dude's wet dream come true right now, and I just want to let the also the viewers know that um, <laughs> Charlotte is a very rare girl who has sex with her girlfriends. This is not normal. We do not normally have orgies at our sleepovers. It helps when like all of your friends are porn stars. When all of your friends do porn, it's more likely to turn into an orgy. My friends are a, a mix of porn stars and not, mm -hmm. and we're generally not having sex, but Gen we, generally, but we are watching a lot of people have sex mm -hmm. most of the time. <laughs> if you could direct your ultimate scene, if you were totally in charge in completely of the production, what type of scene would you like to shoot that ultimately has your signature on it? A scene or can it be like a feature? Like it could totally be a feature. I've had this like dumb little fantasy. Well, it's not dumb because like it's awesome. Um, uh, I, there's so many Blade Runner porno parodies, but they're not done like very well in my opinion. Um, so I want to make one called Gate Runner. Cause I love Blade Runner, I love 80s sci-fi, I love all that stuff. Ooh. But you know, you know like the scene where they're doing um, the void contest, uh -huh. and then Rachel is like, is this supposed to be testing if I'm a lesbian, if I'm a replicant or a lesbian? You know, there'd be a part where it's like, well this is testing if you're a replicant, but this is testing if you're a lesbian. And then a hot lady walks in and they bump. Yes. There's so many like hot chicks in that movie. It'd be like a great, you know, there's so many missed opportunities for lesbian sex. And I really enjoyed that film on its own because of all the biblical metaphors and symbolism. And why not incorporate that into a porno and do it really good and make a lot of anal and like a lot of gapes because he's a gay partner. Do you feel like that, that feature composed would be a good reflection, would be a a thorough and appropriate reflection of Charlotte as a performer? I think so, or if I did like... I feel like lesbians and gapes like really define yeah. you. <laughs> it's sci-fi, like, um, like my cats are named after Ripley and Jonesy from the Alien franchise. Oh my god, you're so cute. Um, I just love like sci-fi movies and I love porn and I love like weird stuff. Let's do porny sci-fi. I am I'm all about it. I will sign up. I'll I'll be your girlfriend. I don't even care. Let's do it. So let's talk about your your pets for a minute because you have very interesting pets. Yes, so many. 
<laughs> you have quite a few pets. I have a lot. What types of animals do you keep in your bedroom? Um, at the moment, I have had all kinds. Um, there's usually three or four cats on the bed. Mm -hmm. so between my boyfriend and I, we have four cats. And I have six tarantulas in the bedroom. And they're all named after San Francisco Giants players. Yes, you are a huge Giants fan. Yeah. If your fans don't know that, or if new fans coming in don't know that, if you want to get on her good graces, send her some fucking Giants apparel, send her some Giants fucking shit. Yeah. She loves the Giants, dude. <laughs> it's fucking cool. It's it's like the cutest thing. Yeah. With that being said, all of this work stuff, busy, busy bee, taking all kinds of dicks in the butt and all kinds mm -hmm. of hot lesbians, how do you find time to balance in your real life? What keeps your mind zen? What keeps you balanced in the world? Um, for me, I'm not afraid to turn down a shoe if I need to take a personal day, especially Good. like um, because I just got back from Czech Republic um, at the end of February. It's the middle of March right now, and I had like three or four shoots lined up right when I got back. And I'm like, you know, I just need to cancel it all because like my pussy hurts and mm -hmm. I just want to relax and you know, I'm not afraid to do that because if I take on more than I can handle, I'll get burnout and then porn isn't fun for me anymore. What do you like to do for fun? If you could have your perfect day off, like your perfect adventure day mm -hmm. or weekend, whatever, what, what do you think that would look like? I really love to just sit like in my apartment and like pet my cats and drink a cup of tea and read books and uh, I love to do taxidermy but it's so difficult to find the time to do that since I started working mm -hmm. regularly because you have to sit down for like eight hours mm -hmm. at a time or else um, it'll go bad and the hair will, will start slipping because of bacteria growth. Um, so I haven't been able to do that in a while. Um, but that's like my number one hobby. Like if I could have any career besides porn, I would be a taxidermist. That's um, awesome. But yeah, I really love doing that because um, I see it as an art form. I love um, being outside, going for walks, um, anything with animals, like going to the zoo or aquariums or something. But I'm also such an introvert, like if it was my perfect day off and I could do whatever I wanted with no limits. I would just sit and like mount like a rabbit or something and then play with my cats. I'm a total homebody, so we can drink tea and sit at home and play with dead animals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. All right, my dear. Okay. We have to go shoot porn. Aww. That's what we do here. I mean, not all, but I love talking to you. I know, do. I Seriously. I love shooting porn too, especially with Yes, it's gonna be a super hot scene. You and Steve have amazing chemistry. He's Me and you love each other. <laughs> now Ed is in our group. Yeah. Right? It's gonna be an amazing fucking day. It's gonna be so fun. Before we leave, we have to tell everybody if they've been living under a rock, where they can find you. Like, if you can't find this girl, you seriously have not watched <laughs> porn. Like, you have not watched porn ever if you don't know who Goth Charlotte is. Yeah. But, really quickly, uh, mm -hmm. Twitter, IG, Snap, website, whatever you got. Um, Twitter, Instagram, and my clip store are all gothcharlotte.com. Gothcharlotte Make it easy. I don't have Snapchat because they banned me. <laughs> and I also have onlyfans.com slash gothcharlotte where you can see me drinking pee and taking giant dicks in my butt. And doing the hardcore crazy shit that she does, and it's yeah, amazing, it's and I just, you fill my heart with so much joy, I can't even explain it. I, I can't so even much. explain how much I love you. You're my favorite human. Oh my god, we're gonna, we're totally gonna go make out in the best way right now. Yes. On that note, guys, <laughs> we're gonna go shoot porn, we're giving kisses, and we're fucking out of here. Bye, guys. Cool. Mm. Easy peasy. This is so comfortable, so Charlotte, I was uh, I was taping a little bit behind the scene of the behind the scenes, uh -huh. and I'm so fucking looking forward to shoot with BCS, you in a moment. BCS. I love you. I love you too, my dear. And <laughs> uh, let's go and play tennis. Yes, with my ass. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I will put my racket in your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll play with your tennis balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Charlotte, how is your coffee? It's delicious, but not as delicious as you. <laughs> you make me blush, little girl. <laughs> Listen, oh, Charlotte, there is. Um, you call yourself Charlotte Sartre, mm -hmm. uh, and you actually read Sartre. Mm -hmm. That's something you don't expect from a porn girl. I guess not. There's a lot of things people don't expect from me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You, you're expected here in makeup. You can move to makeup, and okay. I ask you some questions while you get touched up. Perfect. Because we just come from outside, where you was my student, and mm -hmm. I was probably the shittiest tennis teacher ever, <laughs> because I'm not good in tennis. You're good in a lot of other things. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlotte. Uh, I hope I'm not in your way. You can no, do the no, makeup. You're fine. Yeah, we'll just talk a little bit. Um, so we are shooting today for Teen Fidelity, mm -hmm. for a, a director with a very unusual name, Fumigali. Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, sounds very Italian. Sounds mm -hmm. very. Um, so, what are you doing to me today? Today, I'm killing you after you fuck me in the ass and come in it. Okay. I like the fucking in the ass part. I don't yes, know if I, I like love, the killing. I love when you fuck me in the ass. I'm going to feel so sad about killing you. Uh, do you mind if we talk how we first time met or do yeah. you want to keep that as a secret? It's a, it's a funny story. I don't mind people knowing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, um, uh, I had a lot of friends who worked with you, they're like, oh, Steve Holmes is so hot. I'm like, who is this Steve Holmes? So I found you on Twitter, and I saw some other girl, I can't remember who, saying something about getting ass-fucked by you, and I tweeted like, oh, I also want to get ass-fucked by Steve Holmes. And I, I saw that. Yeah, and then you DM'd me your phone number. Yeah. And then I went to your house and you fucked me in the ass. And we got Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, first we had anal sex and then Chinese food. And then we came back for more anal sex. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a fun day. Yeah, it's, it was very, very spontaneous and romantic in a, in a way. Yeah. And um, you're such a sweet girl, but you like you. things which are commonly called nasty or dirty or yeah. so. How did you find out about you? Um, a lot of things, specifically fetish and kink-wise, I found out about myself just through doing porn. You can pass the camera, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just I mean. through doing porn and like um, sexual exploration there. But always before I started porn, I knew I really loved to get ass fucked. Before I had ever kissed anybody, I was like putting things in my ass, and my very first scene was anal. Um, you know, and I love pissing and all that stuff. I, I wish I knew why I was like this. I don't know why, but I we like have it. a lot of things in common. We yeah. have a lot of things in common. <laughs> um, so yeah, pass, Sorry, just, just don't worry. It's, uh, so. Uh, can I say something else? What just happened this morning when you were in the bathroom and I had to pee? Yes. I asked you if, uh, if it bothers you if I pee while you're still washing your hands. Mm -hmm. What did you say after that? I asked if you could pee on me after the shoot today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking sexy. I'm stuck getting a boner right now. Uh, I'll take care of that in a minute. <laughs> so today we are in a shoot for Team Fidelity and it's not the typical Gonzo shoot which we usually do. No, it's a lot of dialogue, a lot of acting, um, a lot of different locations and scenes and set up before the sex. And me, I'm impatient. Like, I just want Steve's dick in my ass already. But uh, I think it will turn out very beautiful. So you're on set here probably already like about eight hours. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I came a little later because uh, they don't give me any makeup. They, yeah, yeah, because um, you're beautiful already. You don't need no, it. No, they like ugly men. That's the reason. No, they're so uh, sexy. They like, they like the, the contrast, the beauty and the beast. No, <laughs> there's these blue dolls. <laughs> oh, you speak German. That's so cute. <laughs> 
Okay, but now the yeah. last touch up, mm -hmm. and we are about to get into a sex scene. Mm -hmm. And I, I, this is the third time I shoot with this crew, with this director, and I know it looks really, really good. They, they take forever, but they know what they're doing. <laughs> we may not be the quickest, but we're the fucking best. <laughs> you, you like shooting with these? This company? Uh, why do you think I'm back? <laughs> Good question. Mm -hmm. Mostly just because I have to suck his dick to sign the contract again. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I also, I wish that would be true. Totally kidding. I wish uh, that, that would be true. That should be your BTS right now. <laughs> I'll suck it with yeah. you. <laughs> oh, that would be so sexy. Yeah. I'm going to shoot both of your POV in front mm -hmm. of you. Uh, <laughs> You know, male porn stars always have a thing for makeup artists. I, you know, I always have a thing for makeup artists. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody wants the makeup artist, because nobody can get us. Yeah, it's true. Actually, I got a few blowjobs from makeup artists. Did you? Yes. Well, of course you. Were. I like being the. I like being the mystery. <laughs> Straightforward. The open. last one is not long ago. Yeah. Ooh, mm, yeah. I'd love to find out after. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep it a secret, I uh, promised. I promised. Well, that's okay. Okay, so one more thing. I usually don't like pantyhose, but the ones you wear, especially with nothing under it, it's mm -hmm. so sexy. Can I have a look at that? Yeah, I, I really, mean, I really we can want we cannot show nudity. Oh, it's, that's uh, right. Don't touch yourself. That's just too, too sexual. It's YouTube. Mm -hmm. But, but you, can, you can't see anything. I can, yeah, right? it's it's just sexy. But you can rip a hole in these and fuck me through them. Yes, you can. Okay. So I don't want to be in your way with the makeup because oh, no, as, you're fine. as faster you get ready, as faster I get my dick inside her. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I get the memo. I yeah. got you. I, got, I, <laughs> I hear what you're putting down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately, I cannot show that. Oh my uh, god. Mm -hmm. That Stop one you want? Me that so one you want? Look here, look yes. here. That one you want? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Please. Okay. Uh, kiss. <laughs> and see you soon. My BTS is over now. Now comes the real movie. Mm -hmm.